When Electoral Commission agents visited Kirakira village to update the roles and conduct awareness on the recent changes in eligibility, they were met with concerned villagers. Apart from the usual age eligibility, the concern is with the new change where only those who are Motu Koita by birth are allowed to vote. If you are a Motukoita man, married outside, you, your wife and children are eligible to vote. If you are a Motukoita woman, married outside, only you and your children are eligible to vote, but not your husband. Women whose husbands are non motu koita said the criteria which excludes their husbands should be reviewed and more awareness should have been conducted about this change. Since marriage, many husbands not of motu koita birth have been vital parts of the village, clan, church and community, so they should automatically qualify as motu koita people. Election. The new Motu Koita election criteria should be reviewed and mass awareness should be carried out well before enforcing it. My husband is the breadwinner and he has the right to stop me from voting in the Motu Koita elections. We have been married 35 years and lived all our lives in Kirakira village. His support to the village has been immense just because I'm from Kirakira village. There were also concerns of eligibility for adopted family members. For the Motu Koita elections, writs will be issued between the 6th and 12th of June, polling will be from the 6th to the 9th of July, and the writs will be returned on August 30th. Delibagu, National MTV News.